hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at an older Oracle deck. Uh, it's been out for about three and a half years. Uh, first release, April 2020, Dream Interpretation Cards. Uh, a big shout out to Llewellyn for sending this out to me to review. It's in a hard case two-part um, uh, box, Dream Interpretation Oracle Cards. I believe this was sent to me in error in my... Um, Llewellyn box. I think it was supposed to be something else and whoever packed you know packed the box put this in by an error so I'm getting the replacement deck um, for the new you know for something else but um, I do own this deck and it was it's published by Low Scarabeo and according to Amazon Llewellyn is the publisher so Llewellyn is the distributor for Low Scare Bayo in the United States. I do own this deck. I bought it off of Amazon back uh, in April of 2020 when it was first released. There is a thumb hole cut out but I looked through my channel and it looked like I never did the walkthrough on it and since Llewellyn just sent this out to me and since I don't have a copy of it on my channel I decided to go ahead and uh, do a walkthrough so I can have a, a record of it on my channel. So for those who have not seen it, um, you know, you may be interested in this deck, although it's a few years old, just black inner lining and uh, black ribbon. So it's about dreams, as the title states, Dream Interpretation Oracle Cards. Uh, and it's very interesting. We'll take a look more at the guidebook after we look at the cards. I have done readings with this deck before when I first initially got it and uh, it's pretty it's pretty cool. And I have another dream deck which are smaller size cards I believe from the same uh, from the same author and then this was like the larger size version of it. But I have not used those deck in a few years. So this is the brand new deck that uh, Llewellyn sent me the copy. So um, this may inspire me to start using it again. So here are the backs. Very pretty purple, pink, blues. They are reversible. Size are not gilded. They are laminated. You can see by the reflection. It does feel plasticky, but not thick plastic, thin. The car stock is uh, medium, flexible, bendable, pliable. It, it, it looks to me like a Hay House Oracle card size. Um, comparing it to a traditional tarot card, it is a little taller and wider as you can see. And I actually do have a copy of a Hay House card here. Yeah, so it's about the same exact size as Hay House Oracle cards. So if you are familiar or own any of Hay House Angel Card Deck or Oracle Cards, you will know. All right, so they are uh, borderless and uh, with the exception of this little border at the bottom and they are number and they do have a title. So this is Youth, Roots, Love, Fighting, Art, Travel, Obedience, Children, Food, Blessing, Shoes, Dogs, House, Nature, Riding, keys, let's see if I can zoom in a time bit more, money, sweets, doctors, bugs, books, moon, Wedding, buying, mountain, music, sailing, 
loneliness, nudity, time, wealth, flying. There's a lot of people who have flying dreams, so I know flying dreams are very popular. This is very interesting. He's flying with the whole bed, though. Exceptionality, strangers, shouting, and last but not least, card 36, falling. That's another common thing in a dream as well, falling, people dreaming about falling. All right, so let's take a look at the guidebook. A little harder cover. Uh, pages are semi-gloss. It's in English, Italian, Spanish, French, Portuguese, and Russian. Dream cards. We spend about a third of our lives dreaming and a fifth of it daydreaming. And perhaps the rest of the time, we are not always fully present and completely conscious. Imagining events that are not quote-unquote real may seem a useless activity in our prosaic everyday life, but if that is right, why did nature give us the power to dream? It did so for various reasons, all of which are extremely important. Dreams allow us to sort out thoughts. They gratify us for positive events and scare us to warn us about negative ones. Dreams allow communication between the conscious and unconscious, between the rational mind and deep consciousness. All right, the subjects of dreams. So that just gives you an idea. There's a, a, another page and a half. I'm not going to read it all. Dream cars. How do dream cars work? Then if we think about using them in, their, in the waking world, where our consciousness is active and our subconscious is in hiding. We need to be well aware that these cards are not a divin divination system. We cannot use them to ask questions and find answers. Their purpose is rather to help our conscious side and make it more receptive in listening to our more profound side by using both projective and meditative mechanism, mechanisms, plural. A mechanism is projective when the self introduces its own person or parts of the self into something external. An easy example to help us to understand this is when a person looks at a drawing that lacks context, such as two people facing each other. The human mind tends to complete the context through a projection of its own value, desires, or fears. Thus, in the eyes of one individual, the two people facing each other are talking. For another individual, they are friends, or for another, they are in love perhaps a projection of their desires, and for someone else, they are arguing, perhaps a projection of their fears. Conversely, a meditative mechanism indicates the presence of a contemplative process capable of absorbing the object of meditation in a holistic rather than an analytical form and then turning it into intuitive seeds that enrich the eye on a conscious level and on a profound level. In practice, the dream cards can help us to process our dreams by studying their projection into the images on the cards, and then to meditate on the process in order to find clarity, inspiration, or peace of mind. All right, so these cards, as we see, the deck is meant for dream interpretation. However, I have used them uh, as clarify cards for divination along with tarot, you know, my, my tarot readings in the past. So they do work. Archetypes and dreams. But the author's intention is to in creating this deck is to help you interpret your dreams and they're meant to be meditational type of cards. That's why they, they're, they're so different. Use of the cards, 
Before using the cards, it is a good idea to relive the dream or dreams you want to benefit from. Go over your nocturnal experiences in your mind. The easiest method is perhaps to relax in a warm, comfortable, and quiet environment by closing your eyes and reviewing the images of the most meaningful dream experience in the recent period. One important up uh, one important tip is also to perceive the physical and emotional sensations and to feel with intensity all that was experienced in the dream. So yeah. Interpretation of the cards and processing a dream. Be wise and do not become your own shadow. Reality as a dream, memory and awareness techniques. So a lot on dreams, lucid dreams and programming your dreams. Dreams and conscious fantasies. Structure of the cards and possible interpretation. So they do give you a little, uh, a few keywords on each of the cards. For example, card one is youth, lightness, energy, ingenuity, and surprise. New perspective, fun, children. Roots, family, origins, rootedness, natural energies, a past that returns, love, union, couple, marriage, sex, affection, universal love, bonds. So they do give you keywords for each of the cards to help you. And then that's it. So that's all it is of the guidebook. And then this is the same thing in a different language. Because remember, it came in like four or five different languages. All right. So if you're interested in dream interpretation or trying to understand your dreams or looking for a good uh, meditation deck, you may be interested in this deck. But like I said, if you like and resonate with these, these cards and or the key words, I have used them in the past uh, for different divination readings. And uh, I remember I, they, you know, they worked and they read well for me as a uh, clarifier deck in my tarot card readings. So you know, to each his own, but the intent of the author is to help you interpret your dreams. So hopefully that uh, helped you understand the deck. As you can see, it's very different, but it's very nice. I really enjoy using the deck, so I might start using it again. So there's no accident, right? Why I suddenly got this deck again sent to me. All right, so I hope you enjoy that. Uh, a big shout out and thank you again to Llewellyn for sending this out to me. And uh, if you are interested in purchasing the deck or checking it out, reading more about it, I will put the links in the description underneath the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.